percent of Nigerian women do not just wake up and decide to bleach their skin without any root cause. If somebody should raise their armpit and is dark, you come and see comments giving them suggestions on how to get rid of it. It's like they don't want to see. They are growing up in church when they are acting, you know, devil and God, angel, drama. People they use for angels are usually light skin, and the ones they use for devil or demon usually dark. <laughs> Wanna blow up in the limelight Think about what my life would then be like Go to LA, I'm back on the one night Trying to catch a flight, I'm just working for that jet life Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel If this is your first time seeing this face, hi, my name is Chisom I just Chisom, call me Chisom, I don't know <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to start making fat and fault with you Or what I am or what I'm not You're welcome hang around and you're a returning subscriber what's up girl today's video is going to be about it's going to be on colorism and how defensive nigerians are whenever we bring it up this video is sponsored by Hurella hair they sent you this beautiful unit that you're seeing here so this week came in this package this very nice box as you can see the name of their brand is in it then inside it they gave me some goodies packaged in this very cute bag or whatever they call this thing the first thing there is a silk scarf which is well needed the second thing there are hair clips always comes in handy lashes as usual hair wig cap and this crochet pin then this is the hair in question the package is in this nylon thingy um, ziplock bag not nylon and can you see the natural hairline not plucked just straight out of the box like no filter this is the front hair hd no filter <laughs> and this is the hair very flowy as you can see this is also a close look at this thing so it's just ready to wear they even brought out baby hair this hair is one of the best that i've received so far i just had fun installing it, it was super easy peasy for me to install like this hair has set the standard for any other hair that i'm going to review if it's not up to this standard in this video, I might be not saying names, but I might be putting pictures or maybe names of those you're familiar with, just for example, just to give a visual example of what I'm talking about. So please don't get offended, it's just an example. And don't even if you get offended, don't hit me. Don't fight me. Because if you hit me, you're going to jail, right? You know that, right? If you hit me, you're going to jail, you know that. You know that, right? Honestly, I've always wanted to talk about this topic. Like, I've always wanted to do a video on this, but I've just really not found. I've just been. I've not cared to do a video on it, but I've, I've always had it at the back of my mind that I was going to do a video on this until when I saw um, an, a particular advert for a skincare brand. This light skin woman or mistress, that woman is mistress. This mist. Mix biracial. Let me call them by. Let me call her biracial. This biracial woman was working, you know, was working, showing off her fabulous, nice skin, and the people gawking at her, and they were falling into the pool. We are all dark skin. The spectators, we are all dark skin. And when I saw the advert, I didn't even look at the advert for what I want me. I'm like, this is really problematic. And then I saw that advert, I'm like, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute i'm glad you brought it up because i've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute first so here i am talking about it so when people saw that advert it sparked a lot of controversy and conversation and my issue with colorism in nigeria is not the fact that there is colorism it's not the fact that colorism is a life and thriving in nigeria my issue with colorism in nigeria is the fact is the fact that people become defensive when you bring it up people the, there's so much gaslighting in it what they always say they are lying on defense is you're, you're insecure once actually if you're a dark skin person and you bring up colorism they immediately tag you as insecure they immediately tag you as insecure and they don't want to hear what you want to say they'll be like you know what i don't care because how do you know how do you know that that's true i don't want to hear that because first of all how do you know how do you know that that's true? How do you know that? On one 
side, people were saying this is wrong, this is absolutely wrong, and this is why it's wrong. On the other side, people were people were saying, eh, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong here, there's not anything wrong in the advert. Then uh, there is this other set of people that were completely delusional in their head. What people are talking about is because they hate the main model in the, the they hate the main model in the video. I'm like, you plan not to be part of the conversation. Go and see that. You need to leave. You need to leave. Okay. <laughs> you need to leave because this is not about the girl. This is about the, the storyline of the advert. And if you don't even want to realize it, then there's something wrong with you. You're not welcome here. You need to get out. This video is not going to be solely on the advert, but the advert is going to be a reference point. People are in, in denial. People are in so much denial with this. Like people don't just want to admit that you hate dark skin people. And I'm saying hate because it's, a, it's subconscious. The hate is subconscious, but it's hate regardless. People don't want to admit that you hate dark skin people. Uh, you, you hate being dark skin and you hate anything dark skin. Then why is it that 77% of Nigerian women bleach? And tell me what's the reason? What's the reason? I love that means because they are insecure. Why? What? We need to start asking the question. What is the reason for the insecurity? They don't just wake up. It's 77%. And this report was in 2019. Who knows how many it is now? 77% of Nigerian women do not just wake up and decide to bleach their skin without any root cause. It's a pattern. So you have to identify when something becomes a pattern, becomes prevalent and common, just like BBL discourse. But there is a reason why BBL is uh, becoming rampant. That's why there is a reason why skin bleaching is rampant amongst a group of people, amongst black people or darker skin people. Why is skin bleaching? So you have to identify the root cause. And the root cause is because of colorism. And the root cause of colorism is racism. So don't just open your mouth and say, eh, hey, it's because you're insecure. Shut fuck up. I'm tired of you hoes. I'm about to come through the screen and grab you and Shut the fuck up. I'm so tired of y'all hoes. I wish I could just come through the screen and punch all y'all hoes. <sighs> Let me calm down. I feel like colorism is so normalized. The self-hate is so normalized. It's like drinking water. You see it everywhere in our community. And But yet, the denial is so strong. Like, why are you fighting so hard? To How are we going to move forward if you can't even accept that this is what is happening? If I'm looking here, my microphone, I'm looking at whether, I'm looking at whether my microphone is on because it likes to switch up on me. Just like y'all like to switch up on dark skin people. How can we move forward? How can we heal? How can we decolonize our mind? If we are not, if we are even in denial, if you don't even want to accept that there is a problem there. Nigerians are not colorists. But the moment you guys get into a fight with Ghanaians on Twitter, you take the route of colorism. That is what you will see. You'll be seeing lots of colorist jokes, colorist shade against Ghanaian. You're not colorist, but the reason you think you're better than Ghana is not because you have talented musicians, it's not because we have more man power, it's not because we are industrious, it's not because we are more intelligent. No, the reason you think you're better than Ghana is because the average Niger Nigerian is two shades lighter than a Ghanaian. It's because they are dark and you're light. Yet you think Colorism does not exist in Nigeria. You have to think Nigeria is going to hate dark skin people. That the reason they think they are better than the whole country is because they are two shades lighter. But yet, Nigeria is not colorist. Oh, okay. 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 Pipe down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shut up. Oh, pipe down, bitch. Pipe down. <laughs> I remember one time I was watching a YouTube video of like a popular YouTuber. She gave birth and her friend, I want to say her friend, came to visit her. And you know, her baby is that's her baby is light skin, really light skin, right? Her friend came to visit her and she was like, Wow, this your child is so beautiful. And I'm guessing the YouTuber's mother is like really light skin too. So they, her friend um, went ahead to say, this your child is so beautiful, wow, your mother, is your mother's color that saved her. She spoke it to me, but she was like, this babe. Like, because she felt like your mother, your mother saved her. You're saying that skin girls are insecure. This is why. If a young dark skin girl was there, 
impressionable that skin girl was there now but hearing when the person said oh oh what maggie is your mother that saved her the girl would think subconsciously or not just active thinking just passive just at the back of her mind who would think there's something wrong in her with her dark skin color that needs saving because even the youtuber herself is dark skin right so it's like oh she not get your color thank god your mother got your she got her mother's color that means her your her, uh, her grandmother's color that means her grandmother said that they be like so there's something incredibly wrong with my dark skin that it needs saving that's how it is you're denying colorism but once like the mother of a child is light skin and the father is dark skin and they give birth to that child usually if it's a girl or even a boy and they give birth to that child and the child mistakenly comes out dark skin Every time people will be like, why you not resemble your papa now? Why you not resemble your mama now? You can't resemble your papa. Why you not resemble? Why you yeah, this one can't resemble your papa? Why you not resemble your mama? That's what you'll be hearing. Even if the father is light skin and the mother is dark skin, it's like, ah, why you can't carry your, your mama's skin now? Why you know why you why you not resemble your papa now? Ah, you don't see your papa, ah, your mama jeans strong, that kind of a thing. There's this, there's this actress, I don't want to say her name, just I don't want trouble. I don't wanna say no name, say no name. I don't wanna say no, no name, name, say no <laughs> name. She gave birth to a boy, and the boy looks light skin, right? I was watching her YouTube video, and she was just emphasizing on how, on how she's happy that her son is light. How she's happy that her son is light skinned like her. She was so passionate about this that there was a video, a short video she made on her Instagram where her husband was carrying her son around the, the house, around their you know big compound. And it was like, oh, this man is carrying this boy now. I don't want him to get that. And it's like, at what point should we ask? Nah, come and sit down. Let me ask you something. I, I have a question and um, don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle Um, I have a question and don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle at what, at what point do we ask this question? What is so bad about being that skin that you're going through all these heights, hoops and cog in order not to be that skin what is so bad is it is it is it like a cause what is repelling you about this being that what is it tell me ask yourself that question and don't say oh i just like fair. why do you like fair Ew. then we have like the dark skin ones that are not really like that like me do you understand then you hear them the length oh my god i said this thing now in my video the length at which they will go to deny being dark skin is scary. Like, I am scared. A lot of you will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared in our name. I am scared of you guys. I am scared of you. The length y'all go to deny being dark skin. You hear them? No, I'm not dark skin. I'm caramel. It's like, like I said, God brought you into this world to be a human being. And you chose to be a cup to be a flavor. Flavor not banana. You you. These Nigerians are not colorists, but what someone they has like a darker armpit that is caused by hyperpigmentation, they will start calling the person dirty. Start saying, oh, they, they are not taking care of themselves. Some people will go as far as wanting to buy, you know, skin bleaching pro. You, you you if somebody should raise their armpit and it's dark, you come and see comments, giving them suggestions on how to get rid of it. It's like they don't want to see. They don't want to see it. People will say no, it's let like the skin become evil. But you don't see people in the comment section of those that have lighter, very light armpits. That is not the same color with their skin though. Their armpit is lighter than the rest of their body. You don't hear people in the comment if at you see people in the comment section complimenting their armpits. Wow, I like your armpits. You like their armpits. You're a weirdo. You're not different, you're just wet. You're not a different breed. 
You just different. You're weird. Goofball. Oh, don't give me that excuse of, oh, it's for them to have the same even skin. You know, you know deep down it's not because of, because of it. You know deep down the dark skin is repelling when a dark skin man or a dark skin a woman is really dark skin and they will tell them, oh, marry somebody that is fair so that your children does not come out so that, so that your children will not be in trouble. That's what, that's what they say. What is so troublesome about being that skin? And I know some people will say, oh, it's about striking a balance. You know it's not about striking a balance. You know, because you never see them. You never see them telling a light-skinned person, oh, this one, I dislike. Marry a dark person though, so that your children will not be in trouble. You know what the fuck is going on. You know the truth. You know the truth. So there's no, see, in my comment section, there's no excuse you give me right now that I cannot disprove. It's because of striking the balance, but why don't y'all tell light skinned people the same thing? Why don't you? When somebody is rich in melanin, there's just something that repels you about it, and you're telling me there's not a problem. The moment, the, the earlier you realize that there is a problem, that's the moment you can start moving forward. Back to the discourse around the advert. People are saying, oh, if it's not colorism, why use only dark skin models? Why didn't you bring your fellow, her fellow by Rachel to gawk over her? Why didn't you do that? Or bring light skin people to gawk over her? If the advert is about, oh, good skin, having good, shiny skin. If you're not telling us that only light skin people have good, shiny skin, so why didn't you bring their fellow light skinned people in the audience to gawk at her. They even made my dark skinned brother fall inside the pool. The people were like, they put the dark skinned people there to create a sharp contrast. Why do you need us to create a sharp contrast? I thought the advert was about good skin. So you could have brought people with problematic skin to create the sharp contrast. Why do you need us? Why do you need, need to reach melanated sisters? Because you know it's not about that. Let's not act that once again. People are like, eh, if it was a dark skinned person in the audience and the rest of the people were light skinned, nobody would say anything. And I'm telling you right now, you can quote me anywhere. Nobody would do such adverts because you know what you do. Nobody would put like a bunch of really light, a bunch, bunch of by Rachel's in the um, audience and then bring a really rich, a really a person rich in melanin as the main character and be walking around. Whenever they do adverts for dark skin people, they are always um, always focusing on the dark skin person's skin. You know there's never going to be an advert like that. So why mention? Even one day I was in church and a church member was dedicating. They were dedicating their baby and then the minister that was dedicating the child looked at the child and was like, I'm told the father of the child, oh your daughter looks like you, but thank God she's not black like you. And everybody was laughing. I was looking around like, what what is so funny? What is so funny? It's not a joke, and you know it's not a joke. You really mean it. You really mean it, thank God. That that baby is not that. At what point do we ask, what is so bad? What is so inherently evil about being that skin that you have to thank God for? A minister you have to thank God for. And in front of the church, in front of the whole, there are that skin baby. You do realize that that skin baby is in the church. What is so inherently evil about being that skin? It's not as if baby was not that skin, no. baby was not as dark, so thank God that is for that one. So what is in, so inherently evil about being rich in melanin, about being that skin that you have to, ha, you have to thank God that the baby escaped. The baby is not, is not even, the baby doesn't even know what's going on in the world and you've already started perpetuating your colorist ideas, your colorist behavior on the baby. And yet to wonder why dark skin people are, are, are insecure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, pipe down, bitch. Pipe <laughs> down. And you guys wonder why I'm saying hate. It's like, it's not enough that you don't like dark skin people. It's just that you just can't seem to control yourself. 
and your mouth when you see a person that is really rich in melanin like there's something now you can't leave us alone please leave me alone leave me alone please leave me alone leave me alone please leave me alone leave me alone please leave me alone because did you have to say thank god she's not that like you like there was no need for you to say that but yes it was said I'm going to do my makeup off camera and then come back and continue doing my hair. When we are growing up in church, when they are acting, you know, devil and God, angel drama, the people, like, the people they use for angels are usually light-skinned and the ones they use for devil or demon usually dark. And even if the person is not that dark, they will now use charcoal or something and paint the person's face. It's like, what is it about um, being dark skin or dark or black? that represents evil to you, that represents everything bad and it's not just only in church if anybody gets, gets from being fair to being dark or just being two shades darker people will start getting worried and start asking, asking the person thinking their um, person is going through something and asking the person, oh is everything okay with you, you're getting dark somebody asked me in this my channel that I'm getting darker, that is everything okay <laughs> Somebody was thinking something was wrong with me just because I was two shades darker. But once the person becomes fairer or becomes lighter, you hear people say, Wow, enjoyment. Hey, my papa, you're so fine. See, your skin is shining and glowing. You know? <laughs> what happened to the skin? Oh, the skin was clear before. The skin is still clear. Now, the only difference is that she got two shades. The person got two shades lighter. Just like um, if you can go back to the comment in my last uh, moving to Canada vlog when I finally moved um, to Canada, just because the place I put my camera, the last um, clip of the video, the place I put my camera just was bringing in sunlight and I appeared, you know, lighter. People started saying, Ha, my skin is now good, though. I'm not looking fresher. My skin is now good. Just, I have not even stayed in Canada. My skin is now good. Why? just because i appeared like that in that distance other parts when i was that i was representing oh because i was in nigeria and i was suffering that's another thing when you see somebody that bleed their skin and you ask them ah that's them you're getting fairer are you bleaching or something even though i don't ask let's say somebody asks them they will start saying no that they are just then when they were dark they were suffering you've heard people say that thing they were suffering now that their skin is fair they will say fresh now they will, they will use it as part now their color is coming out now that they are fair that means their color is coming out like they are saying that nobody is meant to be dark skin people are dark skin because they are suffering when you see people show oh the picture of when they were poor and now they are rich you hear people saying you're not ugly you're just rich and you compare those pictures then not even that they were slim or anything they were just darker in those pictures and the picture they are putting now is that they become lighter do you understand and you hear people saying you're not ugly you're just poor and it's like <laughs> so only pop only dark skin people are meant to be poor only poor people are dark when they get fair and say no then i was not taking care of my skin now i started taking care of my skin and you're looking at the skin like mm. You are saying you're taking care of your skin because it become lighter. I really do want us to stop being in denial, stop gaslighting people when they speak up about the issue and actually start doing the work to decolonize our minds. That just that's the purpose of this video. If you have the answer, put it in the comment section. What is it about being that skin? that people try to equate to every negative thing, even dirtiness. All these things are normalized. These are conversations that happen daily, just casually, and people normalize it and think it's okay. And you wonder why children grow up, asking uh, children grow up insecure, because they have been hearing all those, and no matter how you think, it's not, you think it's not affecting you, but all those things are entering your subconscious mind. They are entering your subconscious. This is why whenever anybody says anything colorist around me, ask anybody, I speak up. Just so if there is any other impressionable person around there, let them know that this is not okay. This is not a normal conversation to have. This is not a normal thing to say. Remember uh, Mommy Gio? You know that woman that is trending now? There's this clip I saw. She was talking about how she was beautiful, how how beautiful she was before. She now said, 
that then if you see her she was beautiful that she's now dark she was so beautiful you see how fair she was she was so fair immediately she has equated like being beautiful to being light and being ugly to being dark skin i'm saying this and people think it's normal like that's what i'm trying to say these conversations are normalized that is why you don't see anything wrong with being colorist you don't even know it's bad you don't know it's bad you think it's just a normal conversation that is happening that is the crazy part and that is what i'm trying to allow people to just because it's normal doesn't mean it's okay and when people say this is not okay stop trying to pin them out to be the bad the bad guy they're trying to come here to be the bad guy and when last did you see the bad guy do the rap game of that comment stop trying to deflect from the conversation honestly it's not our fault right from time the media has bombarded us we have consumed all these images in the media of you know what is supposed to be beautiful when it comes to skincare way before they never used the dark person for good for skincare adverts you know you remember delta girls delta girls all of them used to be light skin most of them let me not say all of them used to be light skin you have like eight light skin people and one dark skin person and the dark skin person is not even not like very rich in melanin even like in our lotion um in our lotion bottle like baby lotion you see that most of the babies there, even in Nigeria, are not dark skin. None of them are, as a matter of fact. All these things, we conjure them subconsciously, but there are implications. And these are the implications. Colorism. I comment on the quality of this hair. The quality is quality. in our community think it's normal to have colorist conversation i'll just be looking around like why is nobody why am i the only one reacting like why am i the only one popping my pussy right now why am i the only one that's popping my fucking pussy right now when we we're having that advert discussion somebody said oh that <laughs> that skin people have always been insecure and they bullied her when she was in secondary school, calling her Ochakamaka. And so I'm like, that's not what we are talking about right now. Okay, but I took the time, I went to the person's page just to look at, you know, Ochakamaka. Just look at the Ochakamaka. And the person, I kid you not, the person was the same shade as me. Like, I look at the person like, you're not that girl. Like, I just came back from the dead and they told me, you still know that girl. I just came back from the day and they told me, you still not that girl. <laughs> There's this YouTuber I was watching, I think she was pregnant, and she kept on commenting. In every video, I'm telling you. And she kept on commenting on how she has gotten so dark. Hey, I've gotten so dark. And I'm telling you, yeah, she got dark, but not so dark. It's like, you can't even stand being dark for a few months. Like, you didn't even get that dark. And she kept on asking her subscribers what she can use to lighten up. People will be like, oh, but that's not it now. She was not that before. She really just, she's crying. She's, she's sad because her skin colors changed. And I'm telling you right now, if she was lighter, if as a result of pregnancy, she became lighter, she would have said pregnancy glow. She would have been happy. She would have said she had the pregnancy glow. But since she became darker, it's not like a worrying thing for her that she needs to get rid of. Most times, you don't even need to see a dark skin person and say, Oh, you are ugly because of your color. No, our actions are already saying it. Actions speak louder than words. Through our actions, we are already telling a dark skin person you're dumb, unattractive, overweight. You are dumb, unattractive, overweight, unworthy, untalented. I think the reason, not I think, I know the reason for this video is just to make you realize that there is a problem, there's a colorism problem, and just stop the gaslighting. Like, it's the gaslighting that gets me all the time, not even the, the main act itself. It's the fact that people go out of their way to gaslight you and make you think you're stupid for being offended by something that you should be offended with in the first place. So, you see the hair? 
is hair in right i'm not feeling the makeup right now but the hair i am feeling i'm feeling you my best hair this will be the standard from now on if it's not as good as this i don't want it i love it here Ooh. if at the end of the day after saying if after saying all these things you still think we don't have a colorism problem we still think we don't have self-hate issue i need to have a conversation with you come closer you're not very pretty and you're not very bright I'm so glad we had that talk. You're not very pretty and you're not very bright. I'm so glad we had that talk. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the comment section. Love you and bye.